Data privacy, or information privacy, is part of data protection that is focused on how data should be collected, stored, managed, and shared with any third parties. We use any application or social media that we can experience data privacy in everyday life. As your personal information is being shared to access all these platforms like Facebook, Instagram, bank application, online shopping, and delivery services. This video will explain to you what is data privacy and the importance of it. What happens if you don't keep your data safe? Then how you can protect your data and take action against violators. To protect your data privacy, Mr. Za from Myanmar and Ms. Bopa from Cambodia, who are currently working in Thailand, will tell you more about their stories. Today is a very important day for Za. He is leaving Myanmar and moving to Thailand. This is a long journey in pursuit of a job. Za is optimistic. He spends his time talking with his friends and family through social media apps. But in order to use those apps, he needs to share his personal data. Wait a minute, Za. Are you sure that sharing your personal data is safe? Let's learn more about data privacy. Za's friend told him about one time when he shared his working documents with his wife on a messenger application, when he was in Thailand and she was in Myanmar. Suddenly, Za's friend got a warning from the app that someone besides his wife tried to open his documents and access his personal information. Insecure platforms can be breached, which might leave your information vulnerable and stolen by individuals living anywhere in the world. To protect against any information breaches, when Za first arrived in Thailand, he researched all applications he was considering using. For sharing of his personal papers such as visa, work permits, and contracts, he chose an app called Doc2Work that lets him upload and share digital copies of all his documents needed to work and live in Thailand. Za knows this application is safe for the following reasons. It asks his consent to share any of his personal data, and if he does not give his consent, it will not share this information with anyone. It informs him exactly on how his data will be used and who has access to it. It sends him a notification immediately if anyone tries to access his personal information without his permission. He feels secure using this app knowing that his information will be kept safe and no one can access it without his permission. One day, Za gets paid and wants to register on an online shopping platform. In order to register, he must fill out the forms, giving the app a lot of personal information. During this process, the app asks permission to collect his personal data, which makes Za question if this app is safe. To answer this question, it is important to first understand what is personal data. Personal data is information that can identify the user from other users, such as address, telephone number, email, financial information, nationality, religious belief, criminal records, health records, and sexual orientation. The application also asks him to upload his passport information and picture for installment pay. Again, this makes Za question whether the app is safe. Coming to the end of the registration process, Za realizes that this app does not have a data privacy policy, which means all his personal information can be shared with others and anyone can access and use his information for their own benefit. He deletes the shopping application. Why should you care if your data is safe or not? Why does it matter? Za knows that his private data is as vulnerable as money. If anyone besides him can access it, they can use it for their own benefits, like applying for property ownership or opening a credit card, all using his identity and documents. Za knows that for his data to remain safe, he must ensure that all the online platforms he uses must also be safe. So how does he do this? First, Za needs to understand how the application will use his information. It should ask him directly if he agrees to share his information on the app with others. Second, Za needs to find out the purposes of the data collection and how they are going to use any data beyond just sharing it. Third, Za needs to understand who will have access to his data. Fourth, Za needs to understand how the platform will notify him if anyone else tries to access his data without his permission. What could happen if you do not keep it safe? Not every platform is safe or can keep data securely. That is why some people get their personal data stolen. To protect people from having their personal data stolen, Thailand has passed its own data protection law that's aligned with international law. 
the Personal Data Protection Act, BE 2562. Let us together explore how this law can protect anyone who lives and works in Thailand. This is Bupa. She is Cambodian and is migrating to Thailand to work in the factory. She has worked in Thailand before and knows the apps she needs to live and work in the country. Upon arrival in Thailand, she reinstalled the chat app and found out that she can still access her personal information, export her chats, and contact her mom back home to let her know that she is safe. She knows that this app is safe as she was able to remove her personal data and discontinue the app last year when she left Thailand. She also has access to digital copies of her data, knows how her personal data will be used, who has access to it, and has given her direct consent. All of this falls under the Data Protection Act to keep Bupa safe. After her first month in Thailand, her salary is deposited into a local bank account close to the factory. She opened this account by transferring her personal data from her old account. The bank application also updated all the new information upon her request. A few months later, she received a call from the bank. Someone had used her personal data without her permission, and they used this data to apply for a loan. She immediately stopped the application. Bupa wants to understand how her personal data ended up in the public domain and was used by someone other than her. She also wants to report this to the authorities to ensure that it does not happen again. She contacts the Office of Personal Data Protection Commission, or PDPC, that operates under the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society, and takes the necessary actions based on the Personal Data Protection Act, BE 2562, of 2019. The PDPC will investigate how her data ended up in the public domain. The case will remain open for three years after the violation, and overall protection for 10 years. For Bupa, PDPC caught the violator and the data processor was charged with sharing her personal information with third parties without her consent. They will have to pay her for the damage of up to 200,000 baht and be fined between 500,000 to 5 million baht and can be imprisoned for up to one year. Bupa is relieved that her personal information is safe again. She is also very thankful to the Personal Data Protection Act, BE 2562, and the protection that this gives people living and working in Thailand. Take your data privacy seriously by checking the data privacy policy on any platforms before sharing your personal information and following the outlined steps in this video. Know, though, that if you do fall prey to data thieves, that the Personal Data Protection Act, BE 2562, is there to protect you. Take action against cyber thieves now. If you find any suspicious activities on any platforms, or if you suspect a data privacy breach, contact the Office of Personal Data Protection Commission, or PDPC, at 02-142-1033, or send an email to pdpc at mdes.go.th.